This is what a Canadian mountain oasis out in Whistler should be. We're on the hunt to find the most luxurious vacation homes in Whistler, Canada. So we reached out to the number one luxury vacation host we could find, Ace Host. And they hooked us up with their full VIP concierge package and a night stay at their most luxurious homes. And first up on the tour list is Chalet La Forge. Okay, Jay didn't want me to hop on here because right now we're heading on our way to Chalet La Forge and he's saying there's a private gondola there. The home is situated in Catawood and they have their own private gondola, so basically the home has its own private gondola. I think you're talking about that like peak to peak <laughs> mountain one that connects those mountains, whatever that, whatever, I see it all over the internet. How about we place a bet? All right. Whoever's wrong has to jump into the pool, then jump into the snowbank. I. Let's do it. I'm down to do that. We're gonna hash this out. So you stick around to the end of the tour and we're gonna see who's jumping in the pool in the snow. You guys, we finally made it here and we're excited to show you guys this ski in, ski out chalet that is considered one of Whistler's most prestigious vacation rentals. And I mean, how can it not when it has 14 beds, eight bathrooms, and over 10,000 square feet of living space. Let's head in and check this thing out. We're inside, heading through the front foyer, passing by this massive and heavy barn door, which leads us into this cozy main living space. This main living space here is an absolute vibe and the ambience in here is so surreal. Honestly, how could it not be when you could be lounging on all this amazing furniture? Right, I mean, whether you're lounging on the big L-shaped couch or I mean, my personal favorite is that green chair over there with that oversized lamp. Perfect spot to read a book or scroll on TikTok. Go stand by that lamp. Like this is huge. You viewers at home, you probably don't like see just how big this is because this space is so expansive, but like, <laughs> look at this. This is a huge, this makes me feel small. <laughs> That's a testament to how big this room actually is though. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, with these vaulted ceilings, that wood panel just, first off, is beautiful, but that spans all the way up there, just gives that open feel. And I mean, like, check out how big this whole back wall here is. The fireplace turned on, super cozy. I'm getting an industrial vibe, especially with these exposed beams. And I mean, who doesn't love an industrial vibe, especially out here on the mountains? Super unique. So I could definitely tell that this is a spot to entertain. Oh, this is for sure for all the entertainers that really want to have that wow factor when they're staying out here in Whistler. And what? In Whistler, <laughs> if you're one of those people that are gonna be here entertaining, this next spot, the kitchen, is essential. Okay, go around the corner. No, I'm gonna jump over there. I got the Jordans on today. Okay, if you I'm putting fall, these that's, to use. That's on you. All right. Oh, you made it. Jordans never fail. You're too extra. The industrial design of this home continues on into this kitchen. And I think the designer of this home did a great job at picking the different design and colorways in this kitchen. I mean, check out this, like what I think is like an oversized butcher block right here. It's really neat because it gives that nature feel to it. I mean, we're out here up in the mountains, but then it's contrasted with the gray stone countertops and that whole back wall that's concrete. And if you actually look at the detail, it's board form. So they actually take pieces of wood and push against there to give it texture. I did not notice that. <laughs> that is sick. Until I actually look up closely, like I don't know if they can even tell on camera, you have to get some close-ups of that. But that's super cool. I like how that kind of matches what we have down here. What's also great is like the cabinetry on that back wall there, that matte gray, it really pops off with that concrete. And that cabinetry actually extends back into that room where there's a butler's kitchen. I love the scale of this room and it also feels like you're connected with the rest of the rooms, just how open this is. And I think that's key when you're entertaining at a spot like this because you could be in here cooking, serving up some drinks, putting some, some charcuterie out on this massive <laughs> charcuterie board here and you're still a part of the party. I think that's the biggest thing. It's all inviting and it's one big open space. And you have so much counter space, more than enough storage because this is a big spot. It sleeps a lot of people. You're gonna have to have a lot of dishes. I love the open shelving that helps open things up in here as well. It's that industrial loft style vibe. You gotta have the openness. And I mean, what's not to love about the Wolf appliances? Whether you're bringing in a private chef or you're cooking on this thing, this thing, <laughs> two, four, six, there's eight burners on there. And you have the butler's kitchen still. So you're good when you rent this out. Oh, you're absolutely good. Whether you got a chef or you're cooking. And speaking of that, whether you're cooking or not, and the food's done, you're gonna bring it over here and enjoy it with all your guests in this insane dining space. You 
probably heard the expression dinner with a view and I think this redefines that. I mean, sitting here looking through those large windows, you can just stare out into that massive mountain range and it looks so close that you can just touch it. And another great thing is these aren't just windows, these are sliding doors so you can also go on to that patio. And that's gonna be great whether you're barbecuing in the winter time or if it's the summer, you open all those out, you get that mountain breeze coming in. I mean, that's something else. And I mean, I think we also gotta talk about this table because this is, I think, the farthest we've ever been apart while filming a dining space. The table is massive, but you gotta have a table like this because you're having all your guests here. I mean, look at how wide it is. You can actually get two seats here, which is pretty rare. That is, and also what's rare is these light fixtures above. I love how they're like almost saddles or something. I love those too, and they do remind me of saddles. The leather straps holding them down, but I mean, it pairs nicely with the rest of this home. Heading past the dining area, and in this corner, you've got a great little family living space. Now, this is where the views continue. You have these sliding glass patio doors that lead out onto your balcony. And I mean, you look over there, you're seeing that mountain range, it's beautiful. This is a great room because you can kind of section things off, maybe have the kids in here and they're kind of separated from the rest of the home. Totally, and I can see myself actually closing this off and having my little me time in here as well. It's so bright and I mean, it's just a really good vibe in here. And I'm pretty sure you want to do that because again, there's another fireplace in here. I feel like almost every room here has a fireplace. Hey, this is at least Books are pretty cool. Oh, this is next level. Look at this. We got Tulum, Gypset. We got. You're some missing the most, stuff. the best place right there on the right. Amalfi Coast. I don't know where that is. Are you kidding me? I guess I'm gonna find that out. You don't know where that is. Oh, I've seen this on Instagram. Okay. It's in Italy. Wow. You're gonna have to visit one day. Well, first, I think I gotta study this book. I think you'll notice if we just. <laughs> You might have to pay for that on the rental fee. I mean, we might, but it's, I think it's worth it. On this far side of the home is where the lounging happens. Right in the center, not only do you have that beautiful table that's actually exactly like the one in the dining space, but circular, up above you have this drop down chandelier. This is something like you're gonna see at a high end cocktail lounge. Are you getting that vibe here? I am, and you can definitely grab some drinks from the kitchen or you can use that over there. The temperature controlled wine closet, absolutely. I mean, check out how many bottles of wine. This thing is filled up. They even got crates here and they've got to have some nice bottles in there. I mean, look at this, that they got locked up. They must've known we were coming or something. They must've known, but they didn't lock up the bar over there. Oh no, this bar is completely open for us to mix our cocktails and our favorite drinks. And what's great is this copper countertop with the backsplash and it goes all the way up to the top there. And those lights just illuminate that. I mean, on the floating shelves, What's not to love about the blue there? It's also great that you have the wood cabinetry and a massive fridge. I love that. What's around this corner? Around this corner over here is where you have an office. So you might not be using it because you're on vacation here, but if you do gotta close some deals or you just wanna check out the view through that big window, that's the spot to do it. And next to me here is a conveniently located bathroom that's got a shower. And what I love about this is they have that wood slit inlay with all that gray tiling. It's really great because it just separates it from the rest of this home. Leaving the upper area, we're now in the big stairwell that has direct access to the mud room and the double car garage. And as we continue on down, it's hard not to notice up above this light fixture. I mean, look at all those rods sticking out. I mean, it's beautiful. I love how they intersect. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Once again, what I also haven't seen before until that kitchen is the wood plank cement wall. And this extends all the way down to where we're gonna head to check out all the bedrooms. At the bottom of the stairs, we're gonna go around through this glass door, down this hall where all the guest bedrooms are at. First off, to my right, you have a very bright and airy bedroom that faces those mountain views and also has a lime green unique feature wall. It's like fuzzy, almost like a tennis ball. Isn't that cool? It does remind me of a tennis ball. And what's also great about this room is that you have your own ensuite. And connected to that and through these doors is where you have a second quaint bedroom. And as we continue on moving down here, you have a laundry room to make sure you can wash up all your stuff after a big day on the ski hill. And behind me to the right is where you have yet again another bright bedroom with its own ensuite. And now we're gonna head into this bedroom to my left because it's one of our favorite guest bedrooms. As we move along, we pass by the ensuite that has double sinks and this thing can almost be seen as a primary. And what's not to love about the gray, white, and the wood paneling in there. And as we move along in here, I mean, did they steal the chandelier from the lounge or what? <laughs> this is so cool. And what's also great is this long bench. I mean, honestly, like this says it only sleeps two people, this room, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like you could fit a few more people in here. I mean, I might check this spot out. That's super cozy. And this whole room here with the blue carpet 
and also that window there looking right into the trees. I mean, this is a great space. Leaving the guest bedrooms, we're now heading around this corner through these doors to check out the primary room. This might be one of the big reasons why you're booking this home. And the person that actually books it is probably the one that's gonna get first dibs on staying in this tranquil spot. And it is because those views, you're getting it once again. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons, but I mean, come on, check out this light fixture. It kind of looks like a spider web, you know, came around and just got it all captured up. It's just as unique as that feature wall. The teal tennis ball feature wall you're talking about. I mean, I can just feel this all day long, but I think this is actually felt, not tennis ball. And below that, the teal continues with these pillows on this oversized bed here. Test the bed. Should I test that? I mean, may as well, because we're hyping it up. Oh, yeah. Like, will you feel good sleeping on that? Or oh, what? yeah. You continue the tour on. I'm gonna be a few minutes. So over here, I like this fireplace that you have here. Okay, you're a lot better than I am. So. Okay, let me continue on. But later, after, we gotta finish up early so I can have a little rest here. As you were mentioning, over here is the fireplace. Now this actually matches the one up in that main living space. You have the same fireplace feature wall and turning that on while you're getting out of bed in the morning, that'd be super cozy. Now it really feels like we just went from tranquil to ultra luxury with this marble filled ensuite. And over on here with this marble wall, you'll notice again that fireplace that spans through the wall from the other side. Spans through the wall. Spans through the wall. That's my new verbiage for double-sided fireplaces. <laughs> But just off of there, imagine just turning that on and hanging out in this oversized standalone tub. Ah, oh, that'd be so nice. And it would be because this window goes all the way down to the floor. I love that. It just feels like the room continues outside. It feels like we can just walk outside and hop into the snow. Now inside, right in the middle here, something that's unique, we don't really see this too often, is two different light fixtures. I think that when they went to go buy the right one, they only had one in stock, so they had to switch. <laughs> so they ran out and compromised. But I mean, hey, it looks really good, super unique. And down below what's great is having the two separate sinks and the marble backsplash, but also that illuminating lighting there under the mirror. It would have been cool if they put a round sink on this side. Or... <laughs> and then a square one. Just did completely separate ones, right? What's behind here? Behind here on this side is where the water closet is, and over on this side is where the glass enclosed shower is. Leaving the primary bedroom, I now wanna show you guys such a cool feature that this home has. So we're gonna head down these steps, through this entranceway little nook area, and into the children bunker room. I mean, that's at least what I think I would call this space. This is unexpected. It feels like the Squid Games, like that's your bunker over there. This one's mine. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind like sleeping in here though, because like look at how big these beds are. It's not like those typical small little bunk rooms you, t you see. So whether it's kids or whether it's the adults, I mean, everyone's gonna love this spot. These are queen size, I'm pretty sure. I think they are too, but I mean, honestly, I don't think I'd take those. I'd probably pick one of these beanbag chairs because I mean, these things look pretty cozy. Of course Oh, you this would. is nice. You just get right in here. But listen to this. You know what would make this room absolutely perfect? Uh, more beanbag chairs? No, no, if there was an ensuite. And I just queued you up. Dude, well, and you gotta know, this is such a luxurious home. Of course it's gonna have an ensuite. But even to one up that, this has got a massive walk-in closet. So I mean, everyone gets their own little section to put all their stuff. And then we got the Ace Host specialty robes. And over here is where that ensuite is we're talking about. And this is great because you have the standalone tub, the glass enclosed shower, double sinks, the illuminated mirror, and of course the water closet. Leaving the bunker room, we're now gonna head down one more set of stairs to where all the fun is had in the lower level entertainment space. The first thing we wanted to show you in this lower level entertainment space is this wet bar that could almost be a full kitchen. I mean, look at how big it is. And what's great is that there's two fridges to keep all your beverages cool. And I mean, my favorite thing, the espresso machine. Uh, I knew you were looking at that. Oh yes, for sure. I mean, just imagine waking up on this lower level, coming over here, grabbing a cup off this floating shelf, getting your espresso and sitting here, having some donuts or some pastries. And then after you're all done, you don't gotta take the dishes upstairs. So you can bring them over here, do them by hand or throw them in the dishwasher. What about over here? Uh, over here is where you're gonna maybe take that cup of coffee, throw on that rectangular fireplace and just lounge on this furniture. I mean, we gotta talk about the furniture. I mean, we could talk about the design of this home, but 
Look at this furniture. They did a great job with the interior design. That chair is interesting. Is this, like, I mean, this is the most uniquely shaped chair in, like, print I've seen in a while. How do I look, though? Does it look cool? You look like you're really comfy. Oh, this is comfy. I might, I'm like, you know, that beanbag was comfy, but, I mean, this is even more comfy. It does look pretty comfy, but I was staring at this table, though. Oh, yeah, we got to talk more about the entertaining and the entertainment level. So right off of this living space is the shuffleboard table. And shuffleboard is so much fun. Do you ever play? I've never played this before, but I've seen them, so what's it about? Okay, so really quick, the concept, you gotta throw these rocks, kind of like curling, and get them in one, two, or three. Three is the most points. That's all you gotta do. Let's do okay? one shot each. Okay, one shot each, okay. <sighs> so that's no points, I got it off. Is it like really fast? It's fast. Don't put too much power. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine went off. Yours didn't even make it across the line. I thought you said try to get to the center line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's close enough. Okay, maybe we weren't that good at the shuffleboard, but thankfully over here is where the pool table is. Now this is where you can gather around, you know, put some money onto the table or just have some fun. And I mean, look at how spacious it is because nothing's worse than having a pool table in a small area. This is like super spacious and I mean, once again, the interior design, check out these art pieces and the skateboards. Leaving this side, we're now gonna head over here and check out- Whoa, whoa, whoa stop, stop. What? Someone must have left their scarf, one of the guests, and you're stepping on it. <laughs> no kid. now that I actually look at it, this is a mega scarf. Like what, imagine like putting this around your neck. <laughs> As we pass by the oversized scarf that someone forgot, through these glass doors is the full gym. And when I say full, this isn't one of those like hotel or like small house gyms. This has everything. And even better, there's direct access out to the pool and hot tub. And when you're done getting your sweat on, you can come over here behind me into the full-size bathroom and get all changed and showered up. Moving along this way, we're gonna head down this hall and check out the next guest quarters. So this guest quarters is pretty unique, almost like that bunker room. There's multiple beds in here, a fireplace, glass sliding doors that go right out to the backyard. And to my left is where the full ensuite bathroom is and another bedroom. And I almost forgot because we don't see them that often. This place even has a massage room. How cool is this? Now I know we said the primary bedroom might be the reason why you're booking this home, but after seeing what's out here, this might be why. Now this is Whistler's finest outdoor living. I mean, just imagine throwing on the barbecue or throwing on the fireplace over there, hanging out in those orange chairs, just taking in the nature or on a chilly winter day like today, hopping into this hot tub. Now as we move along this covered patio area, on this side there's an L-shaped couch, perfect for lounging, and there's also surround sound speakers to really get that music bumping. It's a good spot to hang out and watch the kids jump in the pool. So, I mean, just taking off from here, jumping on in, and I mean, imagine like hanging out in the pool, just looking out into those views. Like I could just stand here and take that in all day long. I mean, the sounds are so beautiful too. Honestly, the video doesn't do its justice. You just have to come here to experience it, but oh, that that totally. is a stunning view. And do you know what? I think that's a great place to end off the tour. We'll see you guys on the next one. I, I, th I see what you're trying to do. What do you I mean what, what I'm trying, trying to do? To do. <laughs> Get over here, come back over here, come back. What did we say at the start of this tour? They don't know that after that, we decided to search up and what did we find? We did a Google search and we happened to find that this community Canewood happens to have a private gondola going up the mountain. And what was the bet? The bet, the bet was that I didn't believe that, which I'm still amazed by that there's a private gondola in a community. But I guess now I need to jump into the pool and then the snow bank. But the thing is, is that we kind of forgot to tell Ace House that, you know, we wanted to use the pool. So they had the heater off. So this thing is ice cold right now. <laughs> and I guess we're still doing the bet. You're damn I mean, right. A bet. Guess what? <laughs> it's about that time! <laughs> in the snow, in the snow, in the snow! <laughs> Hot tub! Wait a minute! That wasn't part of the deal! This is part of the bed! That was a part of the deal! How was that? Oh, oh, this is nice. Now I think oh, that's the end of the tour. That's the end of the tour. 
We hope you all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now, if you wanna stay at this property or any other Ace Host Managed properties and get that personal concierge service, then be sure to head to the description below where we'll have a link to their website. Now, this is the first of our Whistler series. We are out here touring the finest vacation homes, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the other tours. Once again, my name's Tyler, and that's Jaden. We're with Propertygrams, and we'll see you on the next tour.